Hello, I'm Lost and today we are playing the best month ever demo. And since that's all I know about it, let's just get right into it. was a strange year. The year Uncle Sam got his ass kicked. The young told the old, fuck off. The year when people looked at the earth from a new perspective. The year I found out what it means to be a grown up. I was eight then. My mom worked during the day and studied at night. She was determined to give us a better future. I learned how to take care of myself because I didn't want to be a burden to her. We didn't know much about each other then. She didn't say much and I didn't ask. But it all changed that summer of 69. Mom found out she didn't have much time left. That's when she told me we'd have to find a new home. She didn't mention it. It was only for me. Another game that surprised me with a sudden change in art style. Put me in the car. Gonna be long, Mom. Depends how long it takes to convince Mr. Hutt to pay me. I don't like him. Nobody does. Can I come with you? No, baby. Got to do this alone. Hmm. Game choices change in Mitch's personal, personal characteristics. The combination of these traits will determine what kind of person Mitch becomes as an adult. Righteous determines Mitch's attitude towards the law and following the rules. Confidence determines Mitch's self-assertedness. Relationships describe Mitch's attitude to other people. Hmm. Okay, looks like I'm controlling the mum then. Louise? Good to see you, honey bunch. Got your days mixed up? It's my shift today. I came to say goodbye, Betty. What? You're leaving? I want to spend more time with my kid. Something happened? No, I just feel like I don't even know who he is. Boss around? In the can. With a girly mag? It'll be a while, sweetie. Well, I'm out of time. You know, you can't mess with Hut when he's reading. Bet you can give it a shot. Wow. Mom really dug Alvin. The war messed him up a bit, and he ended up like most of the vets. In a dive bar. So you're leaving us then? How'd you guess? Your eyes were already gone. I'm gonna miss you, old timer. I'll miss you too. Thanks. Alright, let's go disturb the guy reading these porn magazines. I can see, hear, and smell. Oh, was that it? Okay, I was expecting to say something else. Wyatt and Billy, the bikers. When not hogging the road, they sit here, bending the elbow and hitting on waitresses. I wanted to be like them. Hi, Louise. Did I hear it right you're quitting? Yeah. What's next? I gotta take care of my business. Sounds serious. Because of Hut? More serious. I gotta find a home for my son. 
Yeah, that's heavy. Good luck, Lou. Thanks. Get kidnapped, kid. I mean, you said you liked bikes, so why would you want to look at the bikes? Why would you want to look at the car? Good boy. Take care of your mother. She'll need it. Why? She looks like she's having great fun. Take my word for it. Oh, almost forgot. Got something for oh, you. Oh, yeah. Iwo Jima? <laughs> Old times. I hope it comes in handy on the trip. So cool. Thanks. How are you going to smoke if you give me your lighter? Go find your mother. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Let's not go creeping around other people's cars. I was considering going up to that car and. You know. How do I get in, though? Hmm. I barely remember Hut, Mom's boss, but I can still see his red car. What the hell are you still doing here? You don't work here no more. I want to talk about my pay. There you go. Me as well, because I want to talk to you too. Come into my office. Hmm. Was I fired or did I leave? Because he makes it sound like I was fired. Welcome to Hutch Kingdoms. Are you about to force yourself on me? Don't know how I feel about that. Oh, there we are. What were we talking about? Right. About you owing me oh, right. 50 bucks, sweetheart. What are you talking about? That's how much your quitting cost me. None of my business. I want my 85 bucks. That's the spirit, honey. I have no time. I need this money. What if I chip in an extra 65 to go with your 85? Would you find the time? All I want is what you owe me. What a pity. Your lack of ambition would get you really trying far. to convince me to. You won't even hear my offer. Do I really want to hear the. You just spent. A solid 10 15 minutes in, in your work toilets doing something to a porn magazine. I think I know your offer. Do you know what? I'll humor you. Fine. What exactly do you want me to do? You know how long right. You know how Shock horror. Me. I read you like a book. I'm sorry, but a blowjob will cost you a thousand. Not get that done. Right then, I only wanted my mom to get out of there. Then you're birthing those little bastards nobody wants. Your choice, but you still owe me $150. Are you done? Then please give me my pay. Oh, last chance. 250 
I don't know what the difference is. Two fifty. I didn't agree to that. Take a good look at him. That's what a real man looks like. On the other hand, you're not too bad. Oh, I knew you'd like it. For starters, come over here. I've got a better idea. Let's play Take the Sucker's Clothes. You slack! in my overtime. Mr. Hub will kill me for that. I need this dough. Here's a 10 spot to chill you out. You fucking bitch! I'll fuck you up! Out of my joint. Hey, why? Is it just me, or is Fatso asking for you? Nah, Billy. It's not just you. Keep on trucking, Louise. Thanks. What the hell am I playing? <laughs> Honestly, I'd rather be seeing the fight in the bar, but okay. What's karma? I'll tell you later. Where'd you get this lighter? It's Iwo Jima. Got it from Alvin. Can I borrow it for a sec? Wait for me in the car, okay? We're taking this one step too far. Really? That's dangerous as hell. Right next to your kid? Really? Mitch, I promise you, this will be the best month ever. There is no way that explosion didn't affect other other people's vehicles, like the car next to it. After that, we drove in silence for a long time. Perhaps the middle of a forest is not the safest place to spend the night, but at least it was quiet and nobody around. Mm. What kind of place is this? Do you like it here? I guess so. I used to come here when I couldn't stand home anymore. It was my asylum. What's asylum? A place where you can hide from the whole world. Are fish here? Used to be. Go, find out for yourself. Okay, I'll look for bait worms. There's a shovel in the car. I'll find some firewood. Hi. So... My thoughts on this story is that we spend all the time in this month with our mum who's passing away and basically we are a kid. Uh, it's based in 1969 so racism at some point is probably gonna become a thing in it but I don't know how far this game will take that. Um, first thoughts about this are it's really... 
it's an odd game the initial image made me think it was sort of dark because the picture of the mum laying on the ground is what was shown on the cover so i was like oh, okay this is a very grim grim sort of game the addition of the kid makes it a bit more i don't want to say not grim just kind of perceived from the like perception of a child and what they would see and to which I'm not sure if this game would take a more adulty approach about that or if it would take a more childish approach about that. That's not really clear. As for what I'm looking for now, it's not really clear either. But it does have this interesting graphical style, which seems almost stop motion. Oh, I found something. There's a bear. But yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of weirded out by there was a gun back there interesting I'm weirded out by the graphical style a bit but I'm even more weirded out about the way that story went like hot revenge or cold revenge like neither of those seemed like it seemed like you just walked into that situation when all she really wanted was her money back and then obviously i gave the lady money i didn't take all the money i wonder if those have like decisions that affect the kid based on what i do but then the reality is i kind of blew up his car so i might as well have taken all the money because you know that car's not going to be cheap to replace fine i'll be right there how are you going fishing without a fishing rod? Hmm. Let's see if there's any fish in here. Where did you get the fishing rod from? Who taught you how to fish? Yeah. Alvin. Who's Alvin? Alvin? The old man from my diner? Yeah. Sometimes we'd go fishing when we were working. I wonder what else you learned when I was working. Many things. When I was your age, my dad, your grandfather, would take me to him. He promised to teach me how to fish, but one day he just didn't come home from work. Just didn't come home? Just like that. He was gone and I never saw him again. That wasn't exactly true. Mom saw my grandfather once more, but at a time she really didn't want to see him. I'm sorry, guide the fish to the bait? How exactly? Are they not at the bait? I have no idea. Look, the fish are close to the bait. We'll catch one soon. Caught it! <laughs> it's spicy. I'll manage. We need to pull it closer to us. Interesting. I mean, the good thing is this kid's survival skills mean that they'll actually be able I to eat. eat you. You want me to? Let's try. The bad thing the is that if this kid didn't get no taught way, how to fish strike. from a guy in a diner that she should have probably known was with her kid Quiet. because, you know, that's how kids get kidnapped. I wasn't thinking about it then. But this was the first time we did something together and had great fun. I didn't know that it was going to be our last time. I was happy, and I thought that this was truly the best month of our lives. I had no clue that Mom was just warming up. Ah, uh, something's moving. She's huge. Wait until she takes the bait.
I'm sorry, what are we talking about? I don't see anything. Hmm. Okay. But yeah, very interesting. I don't know. I, I'm very perplexed by the idea that she wouldn't know where her kid has been long enough for him to learn how to fish. Because you've got to imagine, sure, you could probably teach somebody how to fish in one sitting. Like, hey, let's go to a campsite for the day and we learn how to fish. But that doesn't guarantee, like, success in retaining that information. And they must have been close enough for the kid to have... kid to have wanted to give them a lighter or for the kid to have been given a lighter and so it's like well how many times did they do stuff like that you don't just meet a kid in the street and go hey let's go fish you gotta meet them a couple times for that sort of thing but yeah i'm pressing every button i don't know what i'm supposed to be doing here oh that's pause no i don't want to return to main menu I would like to know how to control the fish again. Hmm. I mean, I might have approached a bug here because nothing seems to be working. But yeah, um, best month ever. Very interesting game that can go in so many different directions. He said something weird. He said this is the best month ever, but I had no idea what mum had in stock. It's like, or in plan like but you said this was your best month ever so if you're telling like it's a bit confusing like you're telling this from a narrative standpoint of flashbacks and so from my head's like thought it's like well you know you know this was the best month ever you had with your mum but that's a flashback if that makes sense that's not so you have what yeah you had no idea at the time there's nothing more in stock but yeah you have the idea now I know it just seems worded weird. I think I would have written it something like, I didn't know it yet, but this was going to be the best month I would ever have with my mum and the last month. Because that's essentially what it sounds like since he's been diagnosed with something terminal. But no, very interesting idea for a game. But since it's bugged here, I can't really get any further. And I don't plan on restarting the whole thing. But... I don't know, I think get, people make games out of everything these days. Like, there's literally a game just being a coffee person, just opening soda cans, uh, cleaning houses. Like, there's all sorts of unique sorts of games out there, and that's kind of great. So in a situation like this, it's just... It's nice, so to speak, to have something relaxing to play. And so I think this game should do pretty well because it already has quite a lot of interesting. I do think the image on the cover and the opening cutscene. I mean, obviously, if you put screenshots on your game storefront, you'd see from the screenshot. But I never look at those. As I said, I just went and downloaded them all when came to try them. And of course, they're surprising me. Good surprises. Very good surprises. I like the art style. The stop motion is interesting but a little off like something about it feels wrong but i can't put my finger on what it is because i like the idea of stop motion but it doesn't it feels more like lag than stop motion i can't figure out why that is but it only happens to the characters it seems like the fish seem fine but yeah thank you for watching and i hope you have a good day